really good day. Uh, guys have had a really good week of preparation. Day was kind of a dress rehearsal, and uh, uh, you know we talked about uh, you know winning a championship today. And that if, if we intend on winning a championship, we can't do what we've been doing. We, we've got to take it to a different level. And, and the guys have really. I mean, it's probably the best three days of practice we've had defensively all year. I mean, as far as the spirit. And again, uh, how much that you get to take that on to the field. The guys are, are really focused on, on, on getting better and, and, and playing at a championship level. And these guys are, are focused on winning the championship. So we had, we had a great day today and was very encouraged and thought we uh, prepared well. Why is your third down defense playing as well better than it has early in the season? How oh, I don't repetition. You know, uh, getting used to, I think, getting a mastery of what they're doing and how they're, you know, how, how to do it. You know, um, um, it's very, uh, you know, uh, third down is, is a is very critical down. I mean, and, and it's all about matchups. And uh, I think we've done a better job of getting, the, you know, the right people matched up on the right people. And uh, uh, we've had a very definitive plan. And I think we've adapted a little bit to what our skills of our players are. And uh, we're just executing better. And I think that's because of repetition and experience in our system. The more we get, the better we are. Is the focus maybe better for a non-conference game than it might have been after a win? Oh uh, no! I, I think I think it's uh, I think every game. I mean, I, I, it, it's always interesting to me. Probably one of the things I spend the most time reading about and looking at and thinking about is, is you know, you practice so many practices. If you really looked at how many practices that you practice to play such few games, mm -hmm. there's really not any other sports like that. Right. I mean, we we're going to have 13 uh, games is the most we're going to have, and you have an enormous amount of spring practice. Uh, fall uh, training, uh, summer training, uh, uh, fall uh, camp, and all that. Um, so you, you got to be able to get up for for 13 and prepare every week, and uh, it's one of the hardest things there is to do. And uh, I, th I, I do think that our guys, uh, uh, we've made tremendous progress, uh, but we, we you can't have the, the you know we don't want to be too high and we don't be too low. You know, we, you, you want to be steady and consistent every week. And that's what we're working and striving for. And that's uh, what our guys, I know our guys responded this week. I'm, I feel good about how they re responded, but they respond every single week. And uh, uh, we got to go out there and play. And probably the biggest thing we've got to do defensively better is we've got to get takeaways. Uh, and we got to do a better job of that. Uh, you know, and I, I think our guys, uh, our guys have played hard for us all year long there. I think offensively, uh, we've got to go out. I think we had one game that we've, we've had 100% ball security. Uh, you know, uh, usually a season will be seven, eight games of 100% ball security f for us. And that, that's how important that is. So going in this game, same game plan uh, and focus as last week is own the football 100%, uh, no negative yardage plays, and, and then fundamentals. So uh, I think our guys are really focused, and I think they're, they're, they, they, they're uh, very determined uh, and, and ready to get back out on the field, whether it was a conference game or not. You. You uh, can pray, pray practice punching the ball out and get fumbles, but you know as far as interceptions go, you only have three of those, I think. What can you do in practice? We, well, I think while we haven't had as many interceptions, we've dropped ten. Oh, yeah, that yeah and that's and that's I mean we've dropped so many more, you know a whole bunch of interceptions. Well, that's you know that's I think catching the football is ninety percent uh, you know concentration and desire and ten percent ability. So uh, uh, we spent a lot of time on the jugs machines, catching, you know, uh, working our, our hand. You know, I mean, last last week we didn't get our hands on uh, many balls, but we have dropped a whole bunch of them. We dropped, uh, I think, three against Notre Dame. I mean, we've dropped a whole bunch of them throughout the season. I think, I think it was ten. I think Coach Patterson can tell you exactly what the number is. Yeah, we had a bunch of them in Iowa too. So that's been the deal there. You, you get your hand on the ball, you, you, you got to make the play, and that's just fundamentally catching the football. Uh, the other part of it, I think, is, is the pursuit. Is running to the football, and 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 we that's a big emphasis this week has been relentless effort to the football. Uh, there's been a lot of times the balls have been out, and we haven't gotten it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think those are how you measure your pursuit. That that statistic there. So uh, and, and then I think how physical you are, and I do think we're a physical defense. I think our guys are extremely physical up front. I think our guys, uh, you know, fly around and tackle hard, and and uh, are a physical unit. So. Uh, those are the things that contribute. It's not some strip drill you do or anything like that. And just being focused and conscious and willing that ball to come out is what mm -hmm. we try to focus on. So, uh, obviously, that's that's been the number one thing is pursuit and, and, and getting takeaways. That That's what we've got to get better at on defense.
You talked about Utah having a similar type of pressure as Rutgers. I think for the season they only have nine sacks. Um, what's the difference in that? Do they disguise their, their pressures a lot no, more? No, I, I think they, they don't blitz near as much as what, what Rutgers did. I, I look for them to. I look for them to play man free and blitz early and often. So, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, they're, they're just a different scheme. It's not the same system or scheme. I mean, uh, uh, you, you know, um, the. Uh, Frequency of, of six and seven man pressures with, with Rutgers would be double what it would be with Utah, but they still are a blitz oriented attack team. But also, they're going to game plan each week, and I think that's what you'll see. When talking about taking good practices and putting them on the field, you know, do you get a different sense on game day from these guys? I mean, you know, I, I uh, you know, I can tell you we have not had a bad week. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, uh, there, there's days that concern me, and and, and uh, you know, um, we didn't. We've had a lot better week practice this week than we had last week, but we didn't have a bad week. You know, I'd be it'd be dishonest of me to say we had a, we had a bad week last week. There were some things that concerned me uh, uh, last Wednesday when we were on Wednesday's practice that uh, wind up showing up on the field on, on Saturday. So you just got to be prepared every week and I'll tell you it's it's probably a lot harder to, to I don't know I, I think it's harder sometimes when you're when you're when you're come off a big win than it is when you come off a big loss cuz I can tell you, I can tell these guys are motivated to get back uh, get back out there and play and so am I. With the guys like King and Schleeper, you know stepping in for for injuries are there guys behind them who are still pushing for starting spots? On the offensive line? No, I mean, those guys right now, I mean, we're hoping to get Lucas back, and if he gets back, he, you know, that's, he would be in the start lineup. Uh, but we're trying to get other guys behind them prepared. Uh, Rothrum has had a great week of practice, and we'll see action this week uh, at the tackle position. Um, uh, and, you know, we're continuing to work to make sure we have depth there. You know, Gaskins is our backup center. Uh, you know, inside at guard there, um, Arthur Dokes is, is now, because of the injuries, is, is repping in the two and three deep. So, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, we're just, we're, we're, we're filling those guys in where we need. But the guy I'm really, really excited about this week is Rotherham. He is really, lights come on, and man, he has tremendous potential. A big, big man. And uh, he's excited too. You know, I can tell he's excited about the opportunity to get some playing time. Where's that at? Left tackle or right? Uh, or both? You know, we, 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 we'll see on Saturday. <laughs> okay. Okay.